For the woman who suffocated and killed her son in Alvarado Park in April 2010. He's three years old and he stands, two feet tall at his mother's knees. And she's supposed to be the only woman he can trust in this world. But he'll have to hold his breath and breathe through her hands. Claustrophobic suffocation. He's three years old and he'll smile at pedophiles and hug serial killers, never knowing where their thoughts lurk or where their hands have been. Sun will shine through his teeth and love vibrates through his fingertips. He's three years old and he can tell you this without holding up his three middle fingers, squeaking out, I miss many, this many. He's homeless, hopeless, second chanceless, sitting on a park bench and for just three minutes to breathe through his mother's hands and then again through her lips and again through her fingertips. He was three years old, but that's where his story will end. The end of Prince Charming and Cinderella, apple juice and grilled cheese and Saturday morning TV. She was old enough to know better, but her brain was missing some cells, a chemical imbalance of a temporal lobe, and she whispers to herself, what's my child, more or less? Her son lies in open sand, his legs white from the lack of pumping blood, his feet attached to his Spider-Man tennis shoes that won't light up when he runs anymore. He was three years old and the only things that could have mattered to him were his talking tool set and his Bob the Builder t-shirt. His little voice that would squeal with excitement. His little toes that would squeeze through the mud, revealing the brown between the webs. And his little hands that touched her face as he tried his best to say, Mommy, everything will be okay. But he doesn't really know that because he's three years old and the only things that could have mattered to him were those park swings and butterfly wings and for just three minutes to breathe through her lips. What's one child, more or less?